for bluebird enthusiasts and uh, chickadee enthusiasts and just, you know, a lot of uh, bird enthusiasts, especially those who want to conserve native birds in, in the U.S., um, there is a bit of a loathing, I shouldn't say a bit, for some people it's a, an extreme loathing for house sparrows, the English house sparrows. And these are the birds that you tend to see at, like when you're eating outside at a fast food place and they're going after your french fries and everything. It's those birds. And they have a very familiar look. So if you're thinking of a bird in the US, you know, you probably think of a robin and then maybe next would be a sparrow because they're just so common. Um, but in certain parts of the US, there is another sparrow that looks almost identical to a male English house sparrow and that's the Eurasian tree sparrow. The Eurasian tree sparrow, just by its name, you can probably guess is not a native sparrow either. It's an old world sparrow, and it was introduced into the US in the 1800s. Um, I believe it was introduced in St. Louis, and it's just really thrived in that area particularly. So I wanted to kind of just go over the differences because just looking at this picture here, you know, they look really similar. Um, initially, I thought that they were the same sparrow. I only started noticing a difference when I saw two, what looked like two males going into a nest box. So I started looking it up and, and Googling and it took a while, but I discovered that this was in fact a different sparrow. So we'll go over some of the ways to tell the difference and like right off the bat, one of the easiest, quickest ways to tell the difference between an, a house sparrow and a Eurasian tree sparrow is just looking at their cheek. The, uh, the house sparrow is going to have a plain area on his cheek, whereas the Eurasian tree sparrow will have a dot. And so you can see that here in this picture. Um, another difference to look at is the top of their head. So the Eurasian tree sparrow will have a completely brown or almost chestnut color top of the head. And with the house sparrow, the chestnut kind of ends at the side, like the top sides of the head, but the very top is actually more of a gray color. And then the last like really big tell between the two is the presence of a bib or the absence of a bib. So the bib would kind of be on the upper breast of the sparrows and the Eurasian tree sparrow will not have a bib. He'll have the beard and so will the house sparrow, but the house sparrow will have more of a bib going down. So his beard kind of just diffuses into this bib on his breast. So the Eurasian tree sparrow is mostly going to be found in St. Louis and you're probably not going to see it in commercial areas. So sometimes you'll see house sparrows roosting up in, in um, building signs and you'll see them in, you know, in rafters within like, again, outdoor seating areas like restaurants and stuff. Typically you won't see that with Eurasian tree sparrows. Eurasian tree sparrows will be more commonly seen in parks and residential areas and they will definitely hoard your bird feeders. Um, and again, they, they sound almost identical and look almost identical to the house sparrow. Um, are they a problem in the US? <laughs> um, and they're quick to take over a nest box before our native cavity nesters can. And they're fast little um, nest builders, just like the sparrows. Their nests actually look very much the same. They're pretty much identical in, in how they're built. Uh, you'll see tunneling. You'll see just um, inconsistent material being used, feathers, straw, a lot of trash. Uh, <laughs> so you'll see that in their nest boxes as well. Um, the one of the differences that i have seen between the two is the house sparrow will definitely kill our native birds they'll kill for the cavity nest i have not observed that yet with the english house or sorry i have not seen that yet with the eurasian tree sparrow they've definitely harassed nest boxes and they've bugged chickadees and bluebirds before but chickadees i've, I've even seen them chase off the eurasian tree sparrow so um, in terms of their aggressiveness, I would say that at least the Eurasian tree sparrow is not nearly as aggressive as the house sparrow. I think the big problem with the Eurasian tree sparrow is just the fact that like, as soon as you put up a nest box, if you have Eurasian tree sparrows in the area, they're going to take the nest and they're gonna be quicker about it than like a bluebird or a titmouse or a chickadee or any, any of those birds. 
So during the point at which this video was under editing, I was monitoring the nest box and noticed a Eurasian tree sparrow nosing around the nest. And for the most part, the chickadees were chasing it off, but it did manage to get inside and attack the nest and cause premature fledging for one of the babies. I was able to get him back into the nest. I saw it immediately. Um, I was able to take care of the situation. Thankfully, no, none of the babies were injured or anything, but um, they are more aggressive than I originally thought or observed or um, have seen documented. So that's just kind of some food for thought there with the Eurasian tree sparrow. So uh, if you're still kind of trying to tell the difference between a Eurasian tree sparrow and a house sparrow, I do have a resource and I'll put that in the link below. And it just has some pictures and just kind of diagrams out the features again so you can kind of take a look. So yeah, the, uh, the US actually has another old world sparrow to watch out for. So be on the lookout, um, post in the comments below where you've seen them. I, I saw a post um, that they've been spotted as far up as in Canada, but again, these are gonna be isolated regions. I think one of the reasons why the Eurasian tree sparrow has not thrived compared to the house sparrow is just, one, they're less aggressive, so even the house sparrow outcompetes them. And two, uh, they, they seem to stay away from commercial places, whereas the house sparrow, like, they just don't care. You know, they'll come up to people, they'll eat your french fries, they'll live in um, rafters and building signs and everything else. So, um, so I think that's one of the other reasons why they just haven't spread as dramatically as the house sparrow has. So that's a little bit about the Eurasian tree sparrow and the fact that uh, there is another old world sparrow out there in the U.S. to look out for.